Oh, matter of fact, before we go in and watch this video, do me a solid. Hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell. So I'm gonna show you something, right? Give me fringes, right? And now I'm gonna get something else. I'm gonna get something else, right? Because they supposed to be wearing fringes. They princes, princes, princes of God. That's a prince of God. That's a prince of God. Your husband is a prince of God. What's what up, is, little man? And what is a, um, a fringe? What a fringe. We about fringe? to get it since we got. We about, matter of fact, we about to get the whole dress code of the Lord. Read what you got. This is the book of Numbers, chapter 15 and verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel. Remember, this book has always been talking about the Israelites, the sons and daughters of the living God. Read. And bid them. And command them. To what? That they make fringes in the borders of their garments. You see these little tassel things, sis? Okay. See his little, little man, what's my man name right here? Amir. Amir, I like that, man. We got an Amir right there, man. Okay. See that brother right there? That brother named Amir too, man. That's a mighty man. You wanna be a mighty man? You wanna be mighty? Let me see your muscles, man. You see them James? That's muscles. what I'm talking about, man. <laughs> got some muscles, right? Amir, right? What's your name, little man? Antonio. Awesome. Antonio. What's his name? Antonio Jr. Antonio Jr. and Amir. I like that, I like that, right? So you see these little tassel things on my garment? The Bible says we're supposed to wear these, man. Christ wore these things. The people of the Bible wore these things, right? You're supposed to have them things on, read. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. So the Israelites are supposed to have fringes in their garments, sis. You got to put fringes on their clothes, right? Read. Throughout their generation. As long as we having children. So your children put them on, you put them on, and then their children put them on, and then your great grandbabies exactly, put them on. Exactly, because I'm really not even supposed to wear what I'm supposed to wear. You, you all right, sis. We're going to touch on that, sis. Hold on, no, watch this. We, I like that, sis. That's, that's called a repentant spirit, sis. Watch this, read. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. So not just fringes, but this little blue ribbon. You see that blue ribbon? Touch that blue ribbon real quick. See that? That's cool, right? You you like that, man? You want some of those? <laughs> All right, mommy, we got to get you some of those, man. We got to get you some of them flat things, man. You see how them things match our, our garments and stuff, man? You can be fly with these things, man. The, the Lord of the Bible says that's beauty to him. That's beautiful to him, right? Now we're going to get you, sis, because you said something heavy. Give me give me First Timothy. Because you said you're not supposed to be wearing that, sis. No, I'm, supposed to, no, I'm not. You're not supposed to be wearing that. Why? Because that's only for your man's eyes to see. No. I'm a married man. That's a married man. It's a married man. You know what I'm saying? Yep. My wife wouldn't want me saying that. I wouldn't want me saying that. God would want me saying that, right? Exactly. And your husband and you shouldn't want nobody saying it either. Exactly. Read what you got. The book of 1 Timothy, chapter 2, and verse 9. In like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. So the Bible says the daughters of God adorn, meaning dress themselves or beautify themselves in modest apparel. Right. You said that I don't know before I could deal with it. That yeah, what you're wearing is in mod like dresses and stuff. Yeah. And not just any type of dress, but a long, non-form fitting exactly. dress. It's supposed to, supposed to flow. Yeah. Right? You're supposed to look like a princess. When you get married, when you do yeah, eventually get married. There you go, you're sis. But that's what the Bible says, sis. Right. Read what you got. <laughs> in like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. Uh -huh. With shame face. Hey sis, when you come out the store, come talk to us real quick. Read. With shame face this and sobriety. Meaning not drunk. Well, our people can drink, but don't get drunk. Don't be all up in men's face yelling and stuff. Because that's what shame face means. Our sisters shame face today, sis. Meaning quiet, submissive. Our, our sisters that way today? Our sisters quiet and submissive? Nah, our sisters not quiet and submissive. Our sisters beat their chest loud. They buck up, put their hands on men, threaten them. You know what I'm saying? Our, our men die behind sisters a lot today. They die behind sisters a lot today. Because our sisters not shame-faced. So our sisters are not modest. And our sisters aren't shame-faced and quiet and submissive. But the Bible says that the Israelite woman ought to be covered up and quiet and submissive. Read. Because why? Would you want your son with a loud... Obnoxious woman? No. You probably beat her too, right? Yeah. But guess what? That's what we raising. That's what we raising. We raising daughters to grow up and do this to your daughters, your babies. You love them, but the likelihood of them growing up and dealing with a woman and her pointing in his face and poking him in the chest and threatening him and trying to get him locked up, that's going to happen to your son. 
Because he ain't going to be a baby. He's going to be grown and he's going to deal with a woman and she's going she gonna to do that to him. So in order for that to stop happening, our sisters, like you said, got to set a better example. You got to dress, you got to dress modest, sis, so that they can see what a modest, they say, you know what, my mom dressed modestly, my mom uh, showed a righteous example. I'm going to marry a woman that reminds me of my mother, that's quiet like my mother, that's modest like my mother. Because they go find the opposite too. Whatever my mom was, that's the type of female I'm going to look for. Read. In like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel, with shamefacedness and sobriety, not with broaded hair, or gold, or pearls, or costly array. So it's saying, don't beautify yourself mainly with like, all, because our sisters like to dress up, don't they? They like to look pretty, put on the jewelry, the bonnets and everything. Right, 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 that's what it's talking about. But the Bible says don't beautify yourself only with those things. Doesn't mean that you can't braid your hand, wear those things, but don't make those the main things. Our sisters will come out looking beautiful. Our men will come out looking glorious, but they terrible people. A man will come outside looking clean, dipped in butter, but he's selling drugs to his community. So what does all the gold and the shiny stuff mean? Other than he'll get this at the expense of killing his people. Read. But which becometh women professing godliness with good work. Meaning, it's how you are. If you're a righteous person, it's going to be told in how you carry yourself. Like you said, you shouldn't be wearing immodest clothes. My sister shouldn't be wearing immodest clothes. I shouldn't see your hips and your form. I got a wife. I'm sorry? Why not? Why not? I like that question. What's your name, sis? Tony. Tony, Tony. Watch. This is because God says I shouldn't see that. Read it again. But that's what you believe. That's what the Bible says. Read. I don't believe in the Bible. That's cool, sis. We're going to read it anyway. Read. The book of 1 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 9. In like manner also, uh -huh. that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. So, I'm going to ask you, sis, because you, you, what's modest apparel? I guess the latest fashion. Nah, modest, modest means something that doesn't attract sexual attention. Oh, right. That's what modesty is. So if I was out here in spandex and with my shirt off, am I being modest? Probably not. I'm looking for sexual attention. When our sisters come out here with form-fitting clothing on, they're attracting. They may not want it. They may not be intending to do it, but that's the attention you're going to get because everyone can see your body. Right. So if a man comes up to you and all he wants is sex, I'm not saying that he's right, but what are you advertising for him? That does, like, think about, think about. So what I got on today is advertising sex. Is that what you're saying? It's, it's advertising attention. Everything is attention, though. Every, what kind of attention, sis? Give me that in Ciroc 19. Everything is attention, sis. And what kind of attention you attract is the attention you're going to get. So if a woman is walking down the street in a modest dress. That's just, first of all. Let me, let me ask you, <laughs> does, does the Queen of England walk around like this? I don't know. No, dead. she doesn't. The Queen of England is not dead. She is very much alive today. today. That Queen Elizabeth of She's England alive. is alive. Okay. And she walks around in long, luxurious oh, dress. Girlfriend. And nobody walks up to Queen Elizabeth. Hey, girl, let me let me bust that up. They don't do that to her. You know why? Because that's not the attention that she seeks with how she dressed. The Bible says what you put out is what you're going to get in. Let's, let's prove that, though. Read. The, we don't believe in the Bible, but the Bible got plenty of common sense. We don't have common sense. Read. The he? book of Sirach. The, 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 the black people. Us. Us. Okay. That's why we live like this, sis. That's why we live like this. That's why we create baby mothers and baby daddies out of each other instead of husbands and wives. Because we ain't got no common sense. We tell our sisters, sis, cover yourself up. We don't want to see our, we, we value our sisters. We don't, we don't want to see our sisters as pieces of meat and sex objects. That's what niggas want to see. We ain't niggas, sis. I don't want your body. I want you to, to cover yourself up and, and, and value yourself above what your body looks like. That's what I want. That's what these brothers want. That's what men want. Boys want toys. They boys, all they care about is playing. Boys and adult bodies only want to play, but they don't want to take care of responsibility because right. they don't want to take care of responsibility. Gee! You tell them to go clean their room, they go, ah. Yeah. That's what they're going to do. They don't want to work. They want to play. So what an adult going to do with a woman when she got her whole body out? He ain't going to want to work. He's not going to say, yeah, you know what? Let me go ahead and get a good job and buy a house and make sure she got a car and she got food and take care of her. He ain't going to do that. He's going to say, yeah, she's showing it all. I want to play right. like a boy. That's what that's what we do. A person, so it's not a personal. It's not. No, we're going to deal with that. So it's not a personal attack on you, sis. It's an attack on the... It's an attack on the bull that we see in our community. Read what you got. The book of Sirach, chapter 19 and verse 29. I remember, I said that, I remember I said that the things that you wear and how you conduct and carry yourself is the attention that you get. Read. A man, may, a man may be known 
seen by his look. So the Bible says a man may be known by his look. That, does that not go the same for a woman? A woman or a man may be known by how they look. Read. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. one that hath yeah. understanding by his countenance. Meaning by how he carries himself. Read. When thou meetest him, uh -huh. a man's attire, a man's clothes, or a woman's clothes. Yeah. Read. Yeah. And excessive laughter. And laughing at every damn thing like everything is a joke. Read. And his gait. And how they walk and carry themselves. Read. Show what he is. The Bible says you can judge a book by its cover. You can do that. Because if I walk up here with my pants sagging below my, my, my waist, if I walk out here with a gun on my hip and, and some weed in my pocket and some and a pacifier in my dang head, I could be a, I could be a bank teller. I could have millions of dollars. But what you think I am? That's what you think I am. Why? Because the Bible says a man's clothes, how he walks, how he carries himself, show what he is. So if my sister's out here wearing immodest clothing, they show what they about. So they show what they about. So when you see me, how you think I look? I got you. I'm gonna let God speak. Give me that in uh, Proverbs six. You got it. You all right. You gone? All right, bro. All right, take care of the family. Hey, man. Yo, 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 lady. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, man, come through. Hey, make sure your wife wearing a dress. Make sure your son's in order, man. My brother. Hey, she said it, bro. She said it. She said, I ain't supposed to be out here like this. So guess who got a hold of in shape, brother? You a God leader, brother. You understand? All right, read what you got there in uh, Proverbs. He said, now I met them, I told a woman, with, I read, what, now you said, what do I think when I see you, right? I'm not going to say what I think, I'm going to let God say what he thinks. Because remember the scripture said, no. a, put a person with all types this. Because, because, I don't know about this, but thank God for what you read what you got. Read, read it strong and loud, brother, read. The book of Proverbs, chapter 7 and verse 10. And behold, there met him a woman with the attire of a harlot. Sis, what's the attire of a harlot? What's that? What's a harlot? I don't know. You know. You know. Oh, I got it. You know. I'm, I'm going to ask, sis, you, you said what's a harlot. We had a good conversation. What's a harlot, sis? No, you ain't been letting me oh, know. Yeah. I'm going to let you talk. Tell I'm going to let you talk. I'm going to let you talk. I'm going to let you talk. I'm going to let you ask this question. I'm going to let you talk. What's a harlot? No, because I. What's a harlot? You tell me. What's a harlot? It's like a harlot. What's a harlot, brothers? Oh, that's what a harlot is. Oh, so we, we know that. I'm not saying you're a harlot, sis, <laughs> but the Bible says they met him a woman with that tire of a harlot, right? Now, oh, what, so what do we talk about prostitutes? Now, I'm not saying y'all prostitutes. Don't, say, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying y'all. I'm not saying y'all prostitutes. But hold tight. Hold tight. Don't don't get don't get don't get caught up in the confusion. If you was to walk down the street, if you was to walk down the street and you see a prostitute, what she wearing? So she, what whatever she, she wants. So what, 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 what is that typically? What is she wearing? Because you express it with the Bible you says. You got short shorts on and half a shorts you are I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Give me a second. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We all can sing the Bible. So I'm going to walk around with my whole body covered. Hold tight. The size of the bitch I'm using sweat right now. You I can only deal with one thing at a time. Read what you got. Do you get hot? Do you get hot? Yes. Because I think you get hot. Read what you got. Read what you got. Come on, brother. We can only do things decently and in order, sis. We can only do things decently and in order. This is the problem with our sis. Hold your peace. Hold, hold your peace. Hold up, sis. I'm trying to, but y'all all talking together. I can't deal with one person at a time. Watch what the Bible says, and I'm gonna get your question. You hear first? What's I'm your side? Your, hold your pieces. What's I'm going to get your question first. And What's I'm your side? I'm not dealing with all y'all. What's your side? Children, I'm going to do with you. Hold your pieces. Uh, what's your side? What's the side? 14 and 34. Uh, 14 and 40. First Corinthians 14 and 40. I'm, I got you. 34 is good too, right? Read, 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 thir read 44 and 40 and then we're going to get 34. Sir. The book of First Corinthians. Chapter 3, 14 and verse 40. So we're going to do it like adults. I can't hear 14 people talking at one time. Y'all talking all at once. Yeah. I, can, I can only hear one person at a time. So I'm going to deal with you first, then you, then you. If we all start talking, now I'm going to just deal with what I want to deal with. Deal? Uh, cool. Let all things, let all things be what? Be done decently uh -huh. and in order. The Bible says let all things be done decently and in order. A bunch of adults screaming at the same time is not order. So let's talk in order. What's your question, sis? 
What's the up? Bible What's... is saying people should have balance. That's not what the Bible says. That's the Bible says what do what I, didn't hear that. I say. No, that's not what you heard, but that's just the words that are that are being formed. Give me Everybody first Peter two. Own. I mean uh, four and eleven. See, Give me no, first Peter four and eleven. No, I'm I'm hearing you. Say what you say. Say what you say. You said the Bible says we got to have balance. Hold on. What did you just read? Huh? You, the Bible says that all things will be done decently and in order. Many, many with no. That that means with that means without chaos. Order, order, order <laughs> means everything is done with like some some detail, meaning some order, not balance with order. For example, if my children are running around breaking everything, there's no order. There's so, no but if they're sitting no down order. eating at the table no quietly, that's all. No I hear you, sis. Now watch what the Lord said. Uh, First Peter four and eleven. Read the book of First Peter, chapter four, verse eleven. Bring it out. If any man. Speak. The Bible says if any man speaks, I'm a man, right? If any man speaks and has something to say, read. Let him speak as the oracles of God. The Bible says that men need to let God speak. You know why? Because our men and women been talking a lot. Right. And what has happened or changed in our community? But you know what? What has, has changed in our community? What has changed? We've been talking for years. What has changed in our community? Go. Well, no, I, I, you know, the, the, the world's fucked up. You, you, people are just, So what you gonna do about it, sis? But, I, what, what can I do about it? All I can do is change within my So how do you do that, sis? Right. What's the, what moral, because in order to change, there has to be a moral standard for you to adhere to. Otherwise, there's a person out there, his, the hold on, his morals, it's a person out there, his morals is sleeping with children. That's right. But that ain't my morals. That's right. There's a person whose morals out here is to shoot his brother, but that ain't my morals. So what is the standard of morals that we ought to adhere to? You're on. You're on. What morals do we adhere to? If it ain't the Bible, then what is it? Because like I said, there's a person out here who wants to rape children. That's his Morals. Can I tell him he's wrong? No. What stand? What? Oh my God! Hold on. So a person out here that wants to rape children. Can I? Can I tell him he's wrong? Can you? Can, can you I tell him he's wrong? Anything about that? Can I tell him? Oh, he's you can wrong. I tell him wrong. that what he's doing is wrong? Do so you think what he's doing is wrong? Right. He we know we are fucked up. Uh, I can't judge him. I can't judge him. Yeah. Is that what I'm saying? No, you. you but that's what God him. give us right. I can't judge him. Judge. He give okay, us our praise. Right. I just want to make sure. But, but, God, 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 free. but what God, is judging going to do? Free will? Yeah. yeah, he sure did. Give me Deuteronomy 30. I'm going to show you the free will that God yeah, gave us. Right. I'm gonna show you the free will that God gave us. I like you, sis. God gave us free will. What's the free will? What's your name, sis? Sis, you've been hearing all this stuff, right? Okay, all praise, sis. We, I'm gonna deal with you too, sis, right? Because you seem like a real quiet spirit over here, just kind of watching and observing, right? God gave us free will. What free will did God give us? You got it? Yes, sir. Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 30, and verse 19. Read. Bring it out. I call heaven and earth. To record this day against you. Against who? Against you. Moses was talking to the Israelites. God was talking to all oh, to hold your pieces. Yeah, Our people talk too much. Relax. All right. All right? So what one, you doing? one thing at a time. I'm addressing one issue. Y'all throwing a bunch of smoke. Oh, what about apples? What about oranges? What about bananas? What about toys? What about cars? I can only deal with one thing at a time. That's confusion. That's, That's right. not order. That's not balance, sis, right? Now, you, hold, on. hold on. Hold on. So, the Bible is talking about the Israelites. Watch this. I'm supposed to be loud, sis. Who are we? The Israelites. Who are we? The Israelites. Who are we? That's what we out here to do. Read what you got, brother. Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 19. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you that I have said before you life and death. I said, I said before you life and death. Read. Blessings and cursings. Blessings and cursings. Read. Hold tight. Therefore, choose life. Therefore, what? Choose life. That's your free will, sis. Choose life or choose death. Right. What do our people choose? Life. Niggas die out here. Sisters become baby mothers out here. Children go to Planned Parenthood right down the damn street That's and right. get killed. Teach. People out here strung out on drugs. Our people done chose death, sister. That's, That's right. your free choice. That's your free will. Choose life or death. But our people are rebellious as hell. We out here teaching our sisters to cover yourself up. We out here so that you get a husband, not a nigga. We out here teaching our brothers, stop selling drugs to your people. Not, and go out and work a job to take care of your family. Not kill your brother. 
But we, but this, but the black woman, I promise, come up against that. You can say you are good men, good men in front of That's you, right. and y'all coming up against us telling us we wrong, we evil, we the devil. The Bible speak up. You got a good man. He married sis. He made you. I'm not married. I'm yeah, then you ain't got no good man. Tell me what you got in Exodus, Exodus 20 and 16. Oh, no, it ain't, sis. Let's let Bible speak. Let's do Bible. I don't do my own thoughts. The Bible. Marriage is a journey. Marriage is a commandment. Marriage is a commandment of the Lord. 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 Marriage is a commandment of then this is what you need to do if you want to get married. Read. The book of Exodus, chapter 22, and verse 16. I'll show you what a good man do, because a good man don't just lay with a sister and just lay with a sister. A good man takes accountability and responsibility for it. Right. Read what you got. That's and boy. if a man, if a who? Hold on. If a who? And if a man entice a maid. Speak game to a sister. Read. That is not betrothed. She's single. She don't belong to no man. Read. And lie with her. And he lays with her. He sleeps with her like your man, right? Read. He shall hey, hold on. Pay attention, sis. Y'all talk a lot. Listen. He shall. He shall. He shall. He shall what? Surely endow her to be his wife. That's God talk. God said he better marry you. So if he ain't doing that, he ain't no good man, sis. Because a good man marries us. Sis, you need to calm yourself down, sis. You all right, sis? Let me, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a we used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling, these are how our men repented at heart, the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.